Yo, guys, welcome back to another video of me getting shiftered. It's a great day out here. I'm gonna activate the pretty memory. Playing the cats. So pretty memory is gonna discard a looks like a ghost ogre. Uh, that's pretty tough. I mean, playing under shifter. I I personally don't understand how cat players play under shifter. I thought you needed your grave, but apparently not. So I'm gonna activate pearly effect. Uh, he's gonna try to impermanent. I'm gonna cross out. He attempts to use another imperm, but you already control a card on field, so it's not necessarily gonna work out the way you want it to. So imperm has been used up. I it looks like I have instant fusion, pros, my friend. And I think the trap in my hand was imperm. Now I'm using a Millenniumizer Strix. I honestly, I think I would have rather kept the Instant Fusion in hand in the Millenniumize and the extra deck for Pros instead of using it. Cause like he's used two cards in his hand already. He has three left. You know he has an imperm in hand, so realistically there's only two cards left in his hand that are alive. Um, I'd rather just like use the use the instant fusion for purely spell effect fodder you know but I'm gonna reveal, reveal six cards obviously I'm not taking the effect failure or the uh, my friend or the cross out so really only leaves three cards the power of elimination or process of elimination is really powerful whenever you're playing uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh okay wow so he ash blossoms me on my friend uh, so he's really only got one card left in his hand he has two you know one of them's a perm oh it looks like I went second also wow that's insane okay so he bricked going first passed it over me drew all hand traps it sounds like and I made a Zeus can't play out of the Zeus so we're just gonna we're gonna go on to the next game already so starting off the next game, we're going to go with the Pot of Prosperity. Uh, we got some mismatching extra deck cards, but no biggie there. Funny enough, there's this guy, I was playing at a regional one time, and he had mismatching sleeves, which if you don't know, it's definitely legal to have that. Uh, but I didn't think it mattered. He was playing Flunder. It, def it definitely mattered because in like game three at this regional, he summoned out of his extra deck. I was like, huh, that blows. But this is locals. I don't imagine anyone's cheating me at locals. If they do, then congrats, you get like one extra pack, maybe two extra packs at the end for prizing. But you can see my opponent's actually playing Kashira. Get to see the full thing, you know, full thing going off right here. He's probably gonna full combo me, and I think he has D barrier set too. Because he revealed it off prosperity and didn't take it. But had full combo, so I you know, I imagine he's doing pretty good for himself right there. He's gonna use Shinger Ear Effect, Summon Fender. We're gonna go street. Now, if I'm the Cash Tier player, I'm honestly I'm honestly not using any of my other cards to play except the D barrier. Like I'm cool with you, you know, going off, going insane. Do whatever you need to do because like to me you're not playing through debrayer you maybe you make like a maybe a sp or something but my cash tier cards are playing through that if i'm him so he burns an imperm on my purely i'm gonna activate delicious memory making sure to stay out of the imperm column pitching a black cat i think it looks like he locked two of my zones here so he's gonna he's gonna hit my black cat with another imperm And now, now he's gonna debarrier me. See, like, so this is what I mean, where he used two imperms to stop me going into X, going into, uh, or getting more advantage and then going into XYZ. Whereas, like, I feel like he could have just debarriered me and then honestly finished me off on his turn. Because there's no way to, like, quick XYZ with my cards. But I'm gonna go into Anima, take Unicorn, beat over the Fenrir, and, like, right here. 
I'm gonna make an SP, and what I'm gonna consider is either banishing the Continuous spell or banishing the Shangri Era, which, in all all honesty, it doesn't matter what I hit. If I hit the field or if I hit Continuous spell on his uh, standby phase, he just summons any Kashira back. Uh, if I banish the Shangri Era, then he just summons. He has all Kashiras in his grave, so he just summons any of them back. So like right now, or right here, he pretty much has me in check. Like if you guys play chess, check is like one move away from being checkmated to losing. And that's what he has me in right here. And he summons, like he rips a unicorn off the top deck. Summons it. So like, none of, none of this really matters. He's gonna activate birth effect and I have the option. I could, uh, now that I'm looking at it, he used birth effect. And I think it targets, so he targeted Ogre. So I could have, uh, I could have chained to banish the Unicorn. And then I think it would have bought me one turn, which one turn with Purely is a lot, especially if you have like one or two cards in hand. But ultimately, I don't, I don't think it's gonna matter all too much. So using the Unicorn effect, and right here I should have just scooped. Saved a little bit more time, but for whatever reason, I'm watching, you know, watching it play out. It's gonna search Theosis and then search preparations. It's gonna use Theosis effect, summon Fenrir. Yep, and here we go. Finally scooping it up. I definitely should have scooped earlier, saved some more time, but we're gonna hop into the last game. Something else in my hand. Uh, this hand honestly plays around everything except the except Imperm. So as long as we don't get Imperm, I think we're gonna be pretty good. Uh, Cause the Millennium Eyes is gonna protect us from everything else. And uh, what, what would you know? We got we got Imperm here. So gonna have to activate the other Happy in my hand. And gonna send the Cosmic. So hitting Delicious, which Delicious is really good. The problem is that it doesn't do anything right here. So, what I can do is I can make SP, um, make SP and Delicious, or I can make, uh, I can make like Nightingale, and just hope he doesn't, you know, banish it by Fenrir or something. But, I'm just gonna make the SP here. Now, I guess another thing I could have done too is I could have ranked up into a happy memory and whenever he attacks at the end of damage calc uh, I think I can search, not too sure so he's gonna use field spell uh, search unicorn, unicorn effects I'm gonna activate SP because I know he's probably gonna go for well what I'm assuming is that he'd go for like a theosis I'm just hoping he doesn't have an extender. He's gonna ghost ogre my SP. So I'm getting absolutely shit stomped right here. Uh, just absolutely cooked. He's pretty much gonna assemble a full board. And there's not like anything I can really do about it. I was gonna top deck Sleepy, which would've been really good, but you know, he just OTKs me right here. So not a whole lot I can do, but that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Appreciate you for sticking till the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.